guys, welcome back to another Lego review. Very sorry that I haven't done another Lego review in the past two weeks because of my very, very sore throat set over the years. This set has been prizes, I've won presents, and also most of it is my pocket money. So my first one is a Millennium Falcon. I showed this was my last um, Lego review, and it has Finn, FN27, Han Solo, Ray, Chewbacca, which I think is very, very better designed as the other one, as the other one's just completely brown, this Chewbacca. This is the County Club leader who tried to steal the plans of BB-8 from Kid one and this is one of his members. And this is BB-8, my most favourite character in The Force Awakens. So on to my second model, is the Land Speeder. This is a very old model, I've had it for ages, and it has Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is his old version, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it comes with a different type of stormtrooper. My third set is the Ewok Attack. It comes with two Ewoks. has a cannon. There were supposed to be logs through these holes and then you push it open and it drops on the land speeder. So my fourth model is the desert skiff. It's about the Sarlacc and Jabba the Hutt is trying to get Luke Skywalker into the into the Sarlacc's mouth so he gets eaten but Luke Skywalker has a plan and R2-D2 from Jabba the Hutt's ship shoots a lightsaber to him, him. then he jumps onto the ship and, and then he he wins so on to the next row, back there, is my ATTE. i done a Lego review on this, this was my first ever Lego review. It has loads of features, you should go and watch that video. Then, it's on this model, is my Trade Federation A80. It's not complete because I was playing with it when I was quite young, when I was like five, and then I was pretending that went it up and then it went into pieces. So my, so this model is a model with the AST. It has an inside where a little figure can sit in that seat. It has lasers coming. There's a laser coming from the bottom here. It's an amazing model. This was my most favorite model. You could twist it from the back and it moves its legs. It's amazing. So then it goes to the. This is the carbon freezing chamber where they froze Han Solo. This is an amazing model. It comes with Boba Fett and this little alien. He's a small alien. And Boba Fett here. It's got rockets on the back as well. And you push this in. This is hand solo. You push it out. Then you twist it around. Then you push it back in. And now he's in carbon magnet. And this fella. This is the control panels. It has a small little bed for Han Solo when he got kidnapped. And there's a lift here. Then you can push this over. Then it keeps it up. So my next model is... Here is the Humming Spider Droid. This is my second favourite of the whole lot. It has a laser, 
the eyes can turn around there's another laser um, which you can fire out and you can move its um, legs up and down here is the empress emperor's our brother this is an imperial soldier transporter um, four stormtroopers are supposed to stand in here and then there's a little there's a little storage area where you can store all of your stuff and then it can hover away to the wall. The humming spider droid also comes with a mini spider droid. Oh. Its antenna spins and its eyes spin and then the laser can come up and down. Here we have Yoda. Mace window. One of my most favourite droids because I like its red colour. Here is the old Chewbacca, the one where I do. I will compare it. So this is the old one, this is the new one. It looks much better this one. This is one of the animal transporters on Tatooine. Like this one is on Hoth. Here's one of the snow troopers from the rebel side. Yeah. From the new Force Awakens with his red arm. I do not know why he has a red arm in this film. Because in the, all the other previous films, he had two golden arms. Here is E-3PO. He looks like C-3PO, but he's got that shiny golden look to him. Here is the escape pod. Where R2-D2... Where R2-D2 and C-3PO came from in the new hope the next one is the shadow troopers with his star this is the snow speeder this is one of the um, um the jedi's um ships where they go around and travel off This is the ghost. It has it, this ghost is from the Ezra series. It has blasters and he has hyperspace. There was a little laser. When you press this, it fires out. There was this person from the Ezra series. Is Ezra's friend. And from The Force Awakens, there is Rey and her speeder. In the series, she would have a bag here, and all of her stuff would go in what she forages. This speeder can go pretty fast from what I've seen in the film. When you open it up, there's a little case. There's a little... Um, with a little blaster ammo inside. is the battle on Takodana. This involves Kylo Ren, Finn, an Imperial Stormtrooper from the new movie. Which, uh, she is over 900 years old in the film. That's what they say. Here 
is another one from the Ezra series. This is Ezra on a speeder bike. And then a stormtrooper chases him. They have little storages in the back. Here is one of the Imperial TIE Fighter Fires. Here is a small version of the Imperial Shuttle. And it comes up like this and then lands. Back here is Kylo Ren's command shuttle. It's very, very delicate. These wings can fall down. This one was one of the most expensive ones I paid my money on. The wings can fall down when you want them to. This was for my pocket and here is one of the Imperial Stormtroopers. And a flyer pilot. Nice as shit. It's a very, very interesting model. One of the best models. A small little cockpit. Um, a small little. Can we come down here from under, and then you can walk your men up there. At the back. There is an open, and then you can load all your stuff there, like little mini lasers and stuff. It has a hyperdrive here, where it can go out into space. It's got that lower wings, which come down as well. And this is its complete wing. But if you were to land it, you would have to put the wings down. Next is Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. He flies around with this droid, medical droid. He can have a lot of fun. If I was in the Star Wars world, I would definitely have one of these. The next one is the Hellfire droid. This was one of the gifts we got. It can be fired at, which hopefully will be fired and I lost all of the ammo. You can roll it around, it goes around like this. There was an old version, there was a lot of versions of this story. But this one I think is one of the best because it has seafood gold and it's amazing. It's here is Jabba the Hutt's baby, called Rotter. My nanny used to call bad people rot the Rotters, so yeah. Sadly she passed away last year. Here is one of the Imperial Super Droids, and here is a normal droid. It's quite a lot of difference. This droid has laser shooting out from its arms, and this has a laser gun. Here is Poe Dameron. Unfortunately, I do not have his X Wing, I just got it from the figure. So, yeah. He has an awesome helmet as well. It's got a yellow screen. So, that's it for my Lego set, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have watched the new film, so I won't tell you any spoilers. So, you go and watch that film ahead yourself. It wasn't my favourite film, but it was a very, very good film. It was when the Death Star was invented and they tried to steal the plan. And then I think the next one from that is the New Hope. Because it's supposed to be set when the Death Star was just built. So I hope you've enjoyed my video guys. Please leave a like or subscribe to my channel. So yeah, see you later.